Well, this is it. This is the final DMC coins box that I get to hunt, at least for now. I was really optimistic that I'd find a variety or two having a lot more Philadelphia minted coins in these boxes. We have not found one yet. But the last hunt proved great with a ton of wheat scents. Maybe this box will give us that variety we're looking for. Maybe it'll give us even more wheat scents. You never know. But that is what makes coin roll hunting so much fun. Hey everybody, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure, and that's right, we're going to get to hunt this final box from DMC Coins. As a reminder, if you could please support other fellow corner hunters on their YouTube journey, I would appreciate it if you could either click his link down below or the one up here and consider giving him a subscription. That would be cool. That being said, I'm eager to get into this box. You probably can tell by my voice. I cannot wait. I've been eagerly awaiting this third box hunt. Obviously, the box was opened from DMC Coins ahead of time to make sure that he provided me with circulated scents. Sorry, DMC Coins. Now that we've covered that, let's get right into this hunt and see what we can get. As a reminder, I'll be using my Penny Corner Hunt map and my microscope, so if you guys would like links to these, they're also found down below. Enough yapping. Let's get to unwrapping. Roll number four is going to yield our first find. I don't know the exact year. I saw 194. It is a 1941, I believe, minted in Philadelphia. And it is 1941 Philly. Toasty, but gets us kicked off. Roll number nine is going to provide a wheat scent number two. 53 Denver. Hunting roll 13, we've got our first Canadian scent of the box, 1982. Next roll, roll 14, and we have a wheat scent. It's a 47, I think I saw. 47S. Not in bad shape. A nice find. Roll number 21, and we have found another wheat scent. It was almost an ender, second coin in. 1956 Denver. Wheat scent number four. Roll 22 is going to yield another wheat scent, and it doesn't look too bad. I saw that it was a 57 Denver, but it's got a little bit of red to it, maybe red-brown. Either way, I'll take it. Newest of the box, but the nicest as well. Roll 26, wheat scent number six. 1939 Philadelphia, not too bad. Roll 38, and we finally got our seventh wheat set. It has been a while, but it is a last year, 1958. And for funsies, we'll just check it for the DDO, which is extremely rare. But we got to look. It's not it. Still seven wheat cents, 12 rolls to go. Maybe we'll hit 10. Let's see. Roll number 41, wheat cent number eight. 1956 Denver. Well, we finished that box of pennies from DMC Coins, and you know what? It did have eight wheat cents, although the oldest was 1941. Kind of the theme for these three boxes. We had a handful of wheats, and then a lot of wheats, and then a handful of wheats for the three boxes, but nothing really that old. I'll still take it, though. Still a fun hunt. I got to check a lot of the Philadelphia minted coins for some of the varieties. We also got a Canadian set as well as 959s, which I will check them for the RPM for the ones that are minted in Denver. Only 169S in the box, and it was not the DDO, of course. And then finally, a good amount of copper as usual. Seems to be a little more copper in the DMC Coins boxes than what I get in my area, but nothing fantastic. Either way, that's coin roll hunting. You'll have some great boxes, and then you'll have some average boxes, and then you'll have some dud boxes. They're always a fun hunt no matter what because you never know when the next box will be the box. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video despite the lack of great finds. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting. And thanks for watching.
For those of you still here, I thank you. I said in a previous video that sometimes if my box hunts weren't that great, maybe I would include a few more clips. So I'm gonna include a few more clips. Now, there's a reason why I'm showing you this 1931S, which we'll get to in the next clip. But I'm showing it to you because this is one of my best finds, a 1931S PCGS MS63 Red Brown. Sad that it got the Red Brown, but I knew it probably would based on the color. But uh, this is one of the first 31S's I submitted in my PCGS unboxing video number one. I actually submitted two of these. One got an XF40, which I sold to one of my subscribers, and I kept this one for my collection. But I bring you in for this clip because I'm going to give you a preview of a recent find just like this one next. We're on rule 25, and I don't even know when the last time I got a wheat scent was. It seems like the box got cold. But I bring you in because take a look at this. A 1931S. It doesn't have the best detail. It looks like it might have some damage. Yeah, it looks like it might have been subjected to fire or something. But this is a 1931S. Now I already have a great one in my collection, but key date. 866,000, even in this kind of condition, I'll take it. I will take it no matter what. Not a big fan of treating coins, but a little olive oil might make it come back to life. The strike is not bad. It looks like it just has something on the surface. I'll take a closer look at that later, but that's a 1931S. I have found three of these now, believe it or not. One is in my collection. One I sold after getting graded, and now I have this one. Unbelievable. I thought the box was getting cold, and that just made it hot again. So anyway, I just want to give you that sneak peek at a video coming out in a couple of days, and if you noticed that it was a custom rolls box, you're right, it was. Jim once again sent me a third box for the customer wrap boxes he's been sending. He's now hunted three, and I've hunted three. Anyway, Stay tuned for that video coming out in a few days.